before you can bring about any real tangible and permanent change you have to be convinced about the word Elohim what do I mean what is Elohim who is Elohim Elohim is the word form gotten in the Bible when God was creating man when we follow the law of first mention the first time Elohim was introduced to us was in Genesis 1 when there was a chaotic mess that was the time God introduced himself to us as Elohim and he said let us make man in the same image it means that you are created in the image and likeness of the person that can bring about change you can bring a message from your mess it means that you have the ability the potential in you to cause change to build, bring beauty out of ugliness it doesn't matter how thick the darkness around you is it means you can bring out light out of that darkness it means that for a change to happen you have to realize this that there is a creative force that is at work in your life that god has given you all you need for a change to happen it must begin with you you are the person that attracts the change onto you but first and very important you have to realize you are created in the image of Elohim, a creator and a judge. You have to judge your situation. What is the judgment you are giving that situation before you can now bring about a creation? How did Elohim bring about the creation? The spirit of God was brooding, moving, overing over the face of the deep over the chaotic mess everything you see in life is as a result an answer to a question answer is not superior to the question but the question you ask yourself on a consistent basis and how you ask that question determine how long you remain in that situation there are some questions that weakens you there are some questions that makes you remain a victim. I'm very sure that you are asking yourself questions that are draining your energy, not questions that are bringing things together. One of those questions that can drain your energy is question that is focused on what people are saying. Are you more concerned about the pain you see, your question must be within your circle of influence, the influence you can bring about. Your question must not be about what you don't have control over. Have you been disempowering yourself, draining yourself by asking yourself, how could this person betray me? How could that person betray me? Have you tried asking yourself one question? What is next? What next?